Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a magical bins haul. That's right. You're going to be glad you picked this one. Okay. So okay. here's the deal. <clears throat> this is going to solve a lot of uh, questions and comments that we get a lot, but I have to make some disclaimers. Uh oh. Okay, I'm going to story time, tell you what happened. Okay. We took our assistant April. She's 23. This is context that matters. This is the background that she has. We took her to the bins. She worked for us for one week, approximately, before yep. we took her to the bins. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to come try to pick up stuff that we could resell. Great. Love another pair of eyes and for hands sure. at the bins. Love it. Okay. She's fantastic. She's in costume design school, so she knows about clothes. But what she knew about reselling was very limited. She knew about plus size clothing and petite clothing because that's the only thing we had given her to photograph. <laughs> right. <laughs> she doesn't really know what brands resell well or anything. So we said, fill up your cart, and then we will go through it with you to teach you. This is good, not good, whatever. That was the original plan. But then her cart became like 10 feet high. I have a picture. We'll insert it. Insane. <laughs> and then I looked at Dan. Our bins is $1.29 a pound once you get over 25 pounds. Mm -hmm. And we were definitely over. I said, let's get it all. He was like, what? I said, let's just get it all and see what her instincts are. So this is going to do two things. First, we're going to see what uh, we, we call a baby reseller. Pe per a person that just has no experience reselling. They just know about their regular closet and their clothes. Yeah. And they think that everything's worth something. When we know, after you've been reselling for four years, that it's not. Uh, we wanted to see what this experience was like. And then we want to do the second part of the video, which is going to be the follow-up. Because we're going to list this stuff. I think we're going to be surprised. I think so, too. I think we're going to be judgy, and you're going to be like... Oh, um, for sure. We're definitely going to be judgy, okay? <laughs> this is not a rip on April at all. This is an experiment. She's fantastic. But I think in our heads, and I think if you're watching this, too, maybe in your head, you think you know a brand sell. I think we're going to be surprised. Yeah, we might be. Uh, we're giving the, all the stuff to April to, to list. We're going to do it. Yep. We're doing it for... You know, if it's listed for more than six months, I will take it down. But this is all for the experiment. And so maybe um, when you're watching our What's Sold, you'll see more brands that you do come across. And I think that will be really helpful as well. Because I know there are a lot of mall brands that she picked up because she recognized them. Yep. And you know what? Maybe they sell. I mean, we're just... Yeah, they probably will. And we're going to be wrong. Yep. Okay, well, it'll be on tape. Here we go. Okay, we're in the craft room. It turned into the hall room. Look at all these bags behind us. It's insane. So we're just going to review each item. We're going to say whether we would have picked it up or not and whether we think it'll sell. Yikes. That's a picnic. That sounded more like Jeremy. They're both, they're both mad. Anyway, uh, Ann Taylor, new with tags dress. New with tags? Yes. And here's somewhere okay. zero zero petite. New with the oh half, half a tag. Like I told you guys, she knows about petites and plus sizes. Because yeah. <laughs> we love selling petites and plus sizes. This is a really nice dress. And it's in my size. So it's not a bad size, thank you very much. But uh, I used to shop at Ann Taylor for formal wear like this. This dress probably retailed for like $200. Dang. Really? I bet you anything we can sell this dress. Probably. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, probably. All right, we're going to try to keep this stuff folded nicely because we send this stuff to April's and she takes pictures. We're trying our best here. Uh, this is a Reebok. Oh, so she got some vintage. Like so she's younger, dragon. right? And people are like into vintage. Okay. Um, okay. And I'm also going to give you guys some comments as if there are like new resellers watching this. There are some things you want to look out for. And the back of this jacket has pilling all the way up it. You can feel it with your hand. Oh, There's yeah. a lot of wear on this jacket. Even if it's trending, um, it's right here. It's just tons and tons of wear. I don't know that the camera's even going to pick it up. I'm not sure about this piece. Yeah, I'm not either. I'm not, And I don't know how old or I don't know how to date Reebok tags. So yeah. I, I'm not really sure the age or anything of it. But. If you guys see something and we're not saying it, leave a comment. This I hope the comment section blows up. This is just such an interesting video that we have never kind of experimented with. 
Well, we're gonna listen. This is green and gray. So maybe one of those like, what's green? Eagles or okay, something? Okay, this is, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is Ralph, Ralph Lauren, but this is just a trench coat lining. I can totally tell this is a trench coat lining. Yeah. Does it have a size though? Could we sell this? I don't know. It's the blue label, so. It's nice though. It's got a tartan. So it's 42 regular. Plaid yeah. at the bottom. What if someone's missing their lining? Yeah, right. Should we try a list this, you guys? <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Well, it is bad to flood your store with crappy listings. Don't oh, do that. Right, right. So we're going to go through and make sure that there's a market before we sell these things. Yeah. But put that in a maybe pile. Let's do a maybe pile on that side. Okay. okay. This is a long video. Y'all need some coffee, snacks. Go get you some. We'll be here. Uh, what is this? Catherine's? Three, in a 3X. I, when I was looking up all that JJ, we just listed a ton of uh, plus size things. There was a ton of Catherine's in the solds. I couldn't believe it. Seriously? Yes. Okay. All right. So if the style is good, I don't know what this is because it's inside out. If the style is good, I think this will sell. My vote is list it and sell it. Oh, yeah. So this is like a, it's polyester. I don't think it's a great fabric. And there's a, definitely a safety pin in here. There is. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Modesty pin. There you go. I think this will sell. Cool. Have you guys ever sold Catherine's? Let us know. Okay. I don't care if you comment a hundred times. Do it. Yes. We please. need all the feedback. Happy holidays. Haha. <laughs> this is what a little skirt. From, okay. Uh, Separates by New York City Design Co. No idea. I have. I've never heard of this brand. It's uh, polyester, rayon, and spandex. It's not great fabric quality, and when you held it up to the light, it's see-through. Oh, fun. It does have a drawstring. Let's put it in the maybe pile. What maybe do you think? Maybe pile. I've never, it reminds me of like multiples or something. Maybe I'm just making that up. Liz Baker. Oh, this is cute. This is such a zenial thing. <laughs> oh my God. Boom, look at that. Look at this grandma, granny, granny core. Is that coming through all right? Yeah. yeah. It's got all this like little ditzy flower floral embroidery and these look at that pearl-esque buttons <laughs> so i feel like this would sell on like depop or something which we don't do yeah but should right, we list it why not we'll try it i don't know anything about that should we let him in no <laughs> we can cat hair all over this stuff <laughs> Uh, this is Catherine's 28W, the Universal Pant. Long stretchies. I mean, you guys know our cost of goods on this stuff is nothing. Yep. So these are basic. They feel nice. They feel like a Ponty, mm -hmm. which I'm surprised by. I thought they were going to be all crunchy. I thought Catherine's is a cheap brand. I might be wrong. I might be 100% wrong. Oh, we're, we're going to find out. Okay, wait. What's it called? You got, we got to look this up. Okay. I'm going to do this multiple times. Catherine's what? What did I say? The simple pant? And then we'll talk about sell through. Universal. Pant. Universal pant. Catherine's universal pant. Okay, when I type that in to eBay, there are 210 results. Okay. That are listed. Right. And then sold 38. Okay. And the solds are ranging from 24 to... I think these are between twenty and twenty-five dollars. Okay, so I mean that's Me. kind of it's decent. Worth listing for sure. Right. Okay, this is some Zara Man pants, size thirty-four. Um, I do not think we should list these. No. These have a lot. Let's talk about why. So I know the lighting isn't great, but these have a lot of wash wear. They're not quite black anymore, and the fabric feels pretty thin. So these it's very thin. These were someone's dress pants and they wore them all the time. A lot. <laughs> I think there is a place to sell Zara and, and even Zara men's, but I don't think that those are gonna make the cut. Okay. We have four bags of stuff. Uh, this is, yeah, it's crazy. Craziness. Uh, what is this? This is dry cleaner tag, that's always a good sign. That's a care tag, I think. Stab myself with that safety pin. Oh, you can put it in the drawer right here, watch me. Uh, there we go. Hmm. 
No, that's just a fabric tag. 12P China. I don't... I don't know. Okay, this is a really dated style, y'all. This whole box pleat at the bottom, this this was like 2003. Don't do this. No, we can't do that. Nope. <laughs> it's, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've gotten like Gucci things with that that silhouette and they haven't sold. So it's just not, not, not a good thing. Universal thread in a size 18. Okay, I'm not going to knock Target. What you, what you going to say about these Target pants? You have stuff to say, too, right? I'm just not going to yap the whole time. No, nah, I mean, I don't... These Target pants... I would, I personally, I would not have picked these up. I would not have picked them up either. I know people do sell these. Um, if they're someone's favorite pair and they don't make them anymore, that could make a difference. It could, yeah. These have a lot of wash wear. Also, yep. That means something that's faded from going in the washing machine and then into the dryer particularly. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to sell stuff once it has wash wear. You can't really get it back. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not an anti-Target like 100%, but those had too much wear for me. Nobo. XL. That's picnic. <laughs> Outside. I would not, this no Nobo is no boundaries, which is Walmart. I would not sell this. Nope. I would not either. Oh man, we got a dress. It's like a bridesmaid's dress. We just listed some of these. Yep. Who is from? Betsy and Adam, 20W, size 20W. I don't know. Does anybody know? The W is a women's size. Betsy and Adam, should I look it up? Sure. Because we don't want to keep it around if it's This thing is, I mean, it's so far out of our wheelhouse. I know. I wonder why she, we should try to, like, speculate why she picked things. Um, okay, Betsy and Adam gowns. <laughs> there are 1,800 plus listed. And 655 sold. That's not, Okay. So a lot of the ones that are selling are new attacks. So I'm gonna filter. This is, it is like another twenty-five percent, something like that. Yeah, this is a hot tip though. You gotta filter by uh -huh, hot tip by uh. condition. You guys are gonna love this by the end. What is that dress? Did it have sleeves? No, it was like a one shoulder, <laughs> one strap. I think that dress. Is worth approximately, if it sells, mm -hmm. oof, the comps are all over the place. Wow. Some are $20 and some are $80 and some are $50. Okay. I think with the style of that one shoulder thing, it's not really, it was one, right? Yeah. I'm going to say no on that no. one. Okay. We are not throwing these clothes away. Someone will have the opportunity to buy this at the Goodwill or wherever we decide to donate it. All right, this is some leggings, cold weather leggings from BCG. I think this is Target. I think so too. I would not. Uh, I have a hard time selling leggings at all because there's so much wear in the inner legs of a lot of leggings. Those have pilling. Pilling is when the fabric makes little balls. You can sweater shave it a lot of times, but I wouldn't okay, necessarily is... for that. This is from Jones, New York. I think this has a lot going for it. You love the color. I, I do. Care. And the cowl neck is mm -hmm. really in it's right a, now. There you go. It's a newer tag. I think this is good. I think this is listable for sure. What yep. size is it? Small, I believe. Yep, small. I think this is cool. The cowl neck is, is really in right now. Does it matter what the fabric is? It does. Hmm. Come on. Jones New York is one of those brands that retails for way higher than you think. Polyester. All right, we'll try this. Yeah. Okay, we got a seersucker something. I love a seersucker. <laughs> Picnic. Crown and Ivy. Okay. Size 14. Crown and Ivy is from Macy's or JCPenney's. I can't remember. It's a house brand. But what I love is that... Did you see how I did that? You did. That was amazing. Uh, I love that this is Seersucker. It's a summer print. It is a plus size. Is it? It looks so... It says it's 14. I think this is a little girl's dress. You really? said it was a plus dress? I didn't say plus. <laughs> it's 
give the old test here. All right, all right. This is my new summer dress. There you go. Didn't know. This is a child size. Thanks, April. This is a youth. I'm looking at that thing like this is not a 14 <laughs> women's. I still think this would sell. Uh, because people love a seersucker for their family photos. What do we got here? Tip Top USA. What is that? This is a little. Oh my god. Oh, she bought it because it's a tailcoat. Tail coat. <laughs> little kid's tailcoat, it'll definitely sell. Yeah. I for sure. Remember I saw that little Isaac Mizrahi little gold, I yeah, mean yeah. velvet blazer? There's a little, oh no, that's just surface schmutz. Oh, this is definitely going to sell, All in right. my opinion. Perfect. It's yeah. a baby tail coat. Who Maybe. doesn't want a baby tail coat? <laughs> we should tell people sizes because they often ask. Oh, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, because maybe they want to buy a baby tail coat. Is it uh, like inside? Yeah. Tip top. Tip top. Size ten. There you go. If you need a size ten baby tail coat, try to squeeze myself into this. <laughs> you like Christina Aguilera in that one video? Yeah, right. All right, we got a Calvin Klein size two. Just like a career. I think this Dress. will do okay. It has the exposed zipper yep. in the back. We're going to try to keyword pack this for you guys. Uh, there's not pilling on it. It's an, It's got a nice, uh, thick, stretch material. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed Calvin Klein's kind of like having a moment? It's having a moment. And the dresses are... With like the big name print. Mm -hmm. that's, that stuff for sure. The dresses are good though in the in the way that they fit. They're like stretchy enough that they're form-fitting and flattering. I think this is going to do okay. All right. We just got to... You know, when you're listing it, you got to do a good job listing it with keywords. Yeah. Lane Bryant, this is probably something we may have picked up. I would have picked this up for sure. Yeah. 1820 in the Lane Bryant. Does it go? Yep. And it goes to the back too. Yeah. So this is a really flattering hourglass this pattern. This is an older tag, right? Uh, I can't. Yeah. It's not, it's not brand new. Mm, uh, wrong way. Mm, there you go. I like this. Yeah. So I just watched Courtney's video, and I think she may have gotten this in her thread out box. I think it's the same dress. Oh, really? Did y'all watch Courtney's unboxing? I really think she got the same dress. That's weird. All right. More leggings. <laughs> These are from Adidas. So a little bit better on the brand, but I still don't know. They feel kind of... Let's look at the... Okay, so you got to test... Oh, the oh, drawstring's missing. No drawstring. No go. Deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you know so check for drawstrings when you're out the bins all right this is uh dkny jeans size extra large i find this the most at like tj maxx and ross i'm not sure where else they sell it mm -hmm. i i i don't know this is not a substantial piece it's a t-shirt material yeah. and normally white stuff from the bins has stains on it yeah because just even from being in the bin. Right. I'm May gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. What would you guys have done? It's a pretty shirt. I just, yeah. we're paying April to list, so we have some money tied up in it, right? I don't want her to list it and there be a stain on it. What, what is this? This is like a... It's a jumpsuit? Jumpsuit, yeah. Fun, good job, April, this is pretty. Blue jumpsuit from? Ooh, any ooh, tags? Ooh, any ooh, tags? Ooh. Nothing there. Nothing there. Aha! Zara. Size medium. This is cute, though. We don't list all Zara, but I think we would list this. Mm-hmm. Like, if you see it's like a plunge. Oh, my God. What are we going to do with this cat? <laughs> she knows we're filming without her. Is she going to get in the clothes? I'll let her in no, here. No, she won't get Well, she might, but we'll have to. All right, we're going to try. <laughs> we're going to do a trial. With trial her. run. We also have a heater going that I don't want her to touch. She won't. Come on. Well, both of them. Uh-huh, of oh course. Gosh. Come on. I've got my blanket. <laughs> it is so cold here. It's 10 degrees. Ah! What is this? This is... Wait, did you? Okay, so we have Zara over here. Yeah, we have the Zara over Don't there. Don't go there. This is Maurice's, which I would not have picked up. No, that the shirts at picnic. Yes. I'm going right for the heater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just a really low quality 
But, uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all, I'm being judgy. This feels nice. It feels like a bathing suit, which I love wearing dresses like this when I'm traveling. Yeah. Because they don't get wrinkly. What size is this? I think it is. This is is, cute. I think it's a large size. Let me see. I don't know. This says three. Is it vanity size? Yeah. Okay. So this is probably a 3X. Now, (laughs) the reason I'm asking about size is because in certain styles if you're petite or plus size or tall you know if you're not in the average zone of sizing there's less available so when you find something that's cute brand is less important okay yeah and this feels nice i thought it was gonna be all crunchy and cheap it feels good no it feels pretty good i think we should list this all right we won't give it to april to list like these hey get away from there (laughs) (laughs) you told me she wouldn't do that and she's doing that she's doing it get away we have yeah, a space Jeremy's heater. All the, he's all over the go bags. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you're going to have to jump. What is this? This is Layton? I do not know this brand. Does anybody know this brand? There you go. I'm looking for indicators of quality. This feels very cheap to me. Uh, it's nice though. It looks pretty. It's got like a little built-in belt situation. Okay. Or doesn't seem to be any poles or anything in it either. This is actually really nice. It doesn't feel. <laughs> it doesn't feel like the highest quality. Yeah, it's, it's polyester and spandex, but. But it's pretty. Should I look it up? Look it up. What's it called? Laden. L e y d e n. Oh, now it's getting cold because I opened that door. Fatal flaw. These cats. <laughs> Um, okay, it is definitely a cheaper brand. There are 3,400 results. Okay. And then if we go to the solds. What are y'all doing? 275. And everything that's selling looks to be brand new. So, no pile? Uh, no pile. Yeah, even brand new, it's selling for nine ninety nine. That's in the no pile. So if it's $10 or less, that's not worth our time. No. Jeremy. Jeremy, stop it. You're fine. <laughs> Burn your face off. <laughs> Get away. Uh, this is a, what appears to be a pair of dress pants from the green label Lauren Ralph Lauren. Jeremy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get out of there. Um, I know from selling menswear that th- this is a brand I normally would not pick up um, unless it's, like, super cheap. So bins, and eh, maybe, but... the. I mean, yeah, I mean, a pair of, are those handled like super short? No? Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, at the bins, yeah, maybe worth a pickup because I think these are only worth resale like 20 to 30 bucks max. But, I mean, they'll be easy to list, I think. Maybe pile? Yeah, let's put them in the maybe. Maybe pile. I know where she was going with it, though. I do, too. Because we did give her some Ralph Lauren stuff to list, but it was like, okay, so let's take a moment. There are different levels of Ralph Lauren. This is dedicated. Many, many, many. The purple one is the one you want. The black one's great. The blue one's even great. But when you start getting into the Ralph Ralph Lauren's and the Polo Ralph Lauren's, the value starts to fluctuate greatly. Yeah, some Polo Ralph Lauren is really, really collectible and sought Mm -hmm, after. mm -hmm. And yeah. But like like she was saying, the blue label and the Lauren Ralph Lauren, the Ralph Ralph Lauren, that kind of stuff is usually. Eh. The double R is amazing if you can find it. Yeah. Denim and supply is amazing. So there's all these different branches. You got to learn about it. Go to Google and learn. Yeah, there's because there were so many diffusion lines with Ralph Lauren, and some are discontinued and and blah and highly collectible and sought after. So anyway, it's a whole thing. Here's another dress from Calvin Klein. What do you think about this one? I think it's great. I think it's on trend. Got the exposed zipper. Exposed zipper. It's got these huge bell ruffle sleeves. I think this piece is amazing. 16. I'm very happy that she picked it up. I would have picked it up too. Would you have picked it up? Um, I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Not as, as the reseller I am today. No, probably not. <laughs> What's this? I don't know. Croft and Barrow. I would not have picked this up. This is a Kohl's brand. This is size 3X. But it is pretty. Now see, when you held it up like that, it's got these little pleats in it. This is nice. (laughs) I think we should try to list this. Okay. 
just see what happens. It's not an expensive brand, right? Right. But if you can list something and sell it in the same day... Oh, man, that's great for the algorithm. We've done this with store brands. If they're the right style and the right size, like I was saying, this is a 3X, and they don't have a lot of cute styles. In three. It's terrible that they don't, but they just don't exist. And so when you find a really cute style like this and it's in good condition, might as well try to list it so people can have some cute clothes. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. If you okay. don't find cute petite stuff, let me know. <laughs> this is... a. It's new with tags. New with tags. It says Grifflin Paris. And then it all, it's, what else does it say? Oh, these cats are crazy. Design made in France. So it's missing a belt. Garment made in China. It is missing a belt, yep. Um, this is called a swing dress. It does have a pull in it down here. This feels insanely cheap to me. Even new with tags, I don't think so. Okay. And it's missing the belt, and there's a huge snag at the bottom of it, which yeah, can't those be are repaired. Three strikes. Out! <laughs> Get it out of here. Okay, this is Alfani Petite. They sell this at Macy's. Yeah. I know all my petite brands. Mm -hmm. um, when I find this brand in menswear, I skip over it. Okay, this has a couple of good things going on as a petite person. Would you like to know about them? Please, yes. Okay. And uh, so this it's a petite medium. That's what that is, right? PM. Yep. Petite medium. Uh, it's got some really nice um, embellishments up here. These are a little bit 2010. A little bit. A little bit. But here's some things that are good about it. It has a ruched sleeve. Sleeves are always too long on petite people. Always. And this allows for some flexibility in the nice. length of the sleeve, so I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, I don't think we should list this because it has a lot of wear and some of the rhinestones are coming loose. Okay. Also, this embellished collar situation was like 2010 and it it really hasn't turned back around <laughs> since then. Oh man, we got some, some, some teal, some green. This is not teal, this is definitely green. Green pants, my runway New York, size 16. My runway. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. These feel very thin. Super thin. I'm not trying to be judgy about the brand, but this twill fabric, this is a twill. It's really stretchy, though. There's a couple of little holes. That's how right thin there. it is. There's holes in it. Yep. Nope. Negative. But I know what she was going for because she, the stuff that we gave her was all plus size or petite and it was mostly all basics. Yeah. And so she was like, okay, this is what I should be getting. <laughs> we gave her no fair. Instruction. Calvin Klein, size 10, just a khaki pencil skirt. I say we list it. Okay. I say we become the new Calvin Klein. Yeah. Reseller duo. Jump on the on the trend. I don't know if it's a trend. Yeah. I don't know if the um, workwear is. I know the dresses <laughs> can do well. I do know that because so, we've sold a couple. Okay, this is Polo Ralph Lauren, just a pair of khaki shorts. Would you list these? I would list these. I would too. Yeah. Because this kind of Bro. stuff always sells, um, and it was sourced super cheap. So and shorts are so fast to list. So we we actually used to go to the bins and just get shorts. We can get we can list men's polo short. Uh, what do you call these? Cargo shorts or those, khaki shorts. Those are just khaki. These are holy cargo shorts. Oh, cargo's so in right now. Is it? Yeah. See, this is the good thing about having a young person source for you. Knockout jeans. Wait, these might be really good. They look very Y2K. I could yeah. be wrong. Yeah, I have no idea. Established 1991, it says. Yeah. Size 46. Some big boy Should cargo shorts. Those are awesome. I would definitely list them, would you? Yeah. Knockout jeans? Yeah. It's called? I would look it up for sure. I would try to in the bins. <laughs> Service is a little spotty, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's not terrible. Okay. I think we can get 20 bones out of it. Sweet. All right, last whoa, whoa, you're thing very close in the bag. I had to reach, sorry. What is this? Roz and Alley, size 3X? I think this is Target. Target? Not the worst thing that's ever happened. Let's look at the style. It's just like a basic Oh, well, it feels one. nice. It's like tinsel. This is a chambray tinsel lyocell, I can guarantee you. Hold on. Mode out. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So it, that's that fabric that feels really, really soft. It feels kind of like suede on your fingers. Mm -hmm. 
This is a utility style shirt. I would 100% list this. Okay. Size 3X. But I would sell it up, right? In the title, I'm going to be like utility, modal, super soft, neutral, capsule wardrobe. I'm going to do all the things to make it sell. Can you keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. Y'all going to keep going? You're going to be here? Bag number two. <gasps> I oh, love this, this. Is, this is cool. Good job, April. Soft surroundings, petite, large. Look at but that. But look, it's the boho soft surroundings that we've been collecting. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. We've just sold a shirt like this in plus size. It's all embroidered. Very nice. Very nice. Oh my gosh, this is <clears throat> such a find. Cool. 100% would list this. Yep. Going to list this. Love this. Okay, this is a pair of the slim crop jeans from White House Black Market. Don't use a stock photo. Don't do it. These are kind of cool. Yeah. What size are these? Uh, what is that smell? Size four. <laughs> There's a little bit of a mark on the floor here. Oh, right. See, this is why we don't buy white stuff at the bins. Yeah, I don't know if that'll come through on the camera or not. Once it adjusts. No, not really. Okay. I have a hard time with this brand in general. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean everything's not sellable, but I would put these in the maybe. Babies. Babies. Okay. Because for well, I'd have to stay and treat it and then maybe get twenty bucks. And that's not worth it. Right. What is this? We got another piece of what evening wear. Hello. This is gorgeous. Oh my god, this is so nineties. Remember this fabric? Y'all remember this fabric? This like rib stretchy cheap black fabric i'm so here for it this is miss one made in the usa size this is so 90s super 90s nylon and spandex size small man it does have some pulls in this fabric and this is something you cannot fix this is what the tag looks like if i sold on depop this would be so 90s i know right super <laughs> Wow, I think we should try to list it. Okay. Learn ourselves. Look at this empire waist. That's what that's <laughs> called when it is right below your boobs like that. And this is all sheer. It's sheer and flocked. Do you know what flocked means? Um, it means like fuzzy this. like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is this? This is a pair of Land's End pull-on khaki pants. Lands in surprises me sometimes. It does. It's a little bit like LL Bean and surprises it's me. A little, look at the adjustables on the inside there. Well, that's fancy. Right. Size 20, H15 to 16. That's kid, kids' pants. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Kids don't really have those. Yeah. So, so these are uniform pants for school. That's exactly what these uh -huh. are. Ah, okay. I do not want to list these. Okay. Bye. More pants. Levi's, 513s in a size 3632. I will 100% list, list these. Yeah. People know their Levi's number and then they stop making it and then they can't find it and they come online and get it and these are in good condition, right? Yeah, these are in pretty, pretty awesome shape. Now, to me, if I were a baby reseller and I were watching this video, the thing I would take away is jeans and shorts are pretty safe pickups at the bins. You could pretty much make money on them. Yeah. Not a lot, depending on the style, right? But Levi's is a pretty safe bet. I Good job, agree. April. I would agree with that. Oh, man. Wow. Yep. Okay, so this is again 2010 calling. Banana Republic, size 1258. <sighs> I have, I don't know, Banana Republic is one of those brands for me where I pick up very few pieces. Like, it's got to be some really nice fabric or something special. So the issue with this skirt, for me, it's not the brand. The issue is the, the silhouette. So it come, it's a mini skirt, and it comes in, it flares out at the very bottom. Uh -huh. It's so 2000s. Like, <laughs> not in a good way, too. That, like, early 2000s is still trending, like, hardcore, but this is, like, 2008, 2009, 2010, and I just haven't seen that kind of silhouette come back. Okay. Not a bad skirt. Hopefully we can get it and put it in the place where someone will buy it and wear it and love it. Love it. This is from some brand called Paula Z. Woman. 
early 90s. It's very the tag. fragrant. Um, let me look it up. Okay. I think we could be surprised by this one. Okay. Paula Z. Maybe Paula someone Z. loves Paula Z. It's not ugly. You're, you're pausing. You think it's ugly? No. I mean, I, it just it looks dated. Very yeah, it's dated. vintage. Yes. But like, do people want to wear this kind of vintage? Like, I was just talking about 2008. I don't, I haven't uh-huh. seen that yet. Ooh. Well, come on. There are no solds, like, at all. None, so that's got to go in the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's going in the no-pile. These are our foster cats, if you're new here. Welcome. And another Rosin Alley. Size I think Rosin Alley. This is cute, this though. Is like a <gasps> is this a women's ten? Yeah, it's yeah. Women's. This is cute. I would definitely list this. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's cute. So what happened to me is I have a seersucker dress that I love, and it's not worth a ton, but I have seriously saved searches all over because I'm going to get it back up. Back up. It's a backup. Got to get it back up. This is that same... So these go with the suit jacket, and we don't have the jackets. Same brand. That uh, is unknown. Unknown brand. Yeah, but we don't have the jackets. Yeah. I don't think anyone wants this skirt without the jacket. Well, I don't know. Maybe Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it's kind of like that style. Run. Okay. Uh, mm. this, is, this has potential. Sleepwear from Cabernet. We just sold a bunch of nightgowns just sure like this. Sure did. Oh, stain. Uh-oh. Oh, many stains. Oh, nope. Yeah. Nope. Goodbye. Sorry. You gotta check your whites at the bins. It's hard, though, because the lighting in oh, there. the lighting is terrible. It's pretty terrible. Are you trapped? Come on. There you go. <laughs> uh, pair of pants. Lane Bryant, size 18. I love a Lane Bryant pant. My favorite is the Alley. We sell those a lot. These might... No, these are so low-rise. This is... This is going to be an issue. Okay. For me, when a pant does this, this right here, this area, and this is the the fly, this is no good. <laughs> we have a term that happens <laughs> for pants when women wear them, and the fly doesn't extend the full length of the rise, and it's not good. It's not, not good. a good look. I don't know what pant these are, but I can tell you as a stylist, I would not put someone in these pants. Heard that. Okay. It has nothing to do with the brand. This has to do with the cut. Not, not doing no, it. No, nope. no pile for you. <laughs> That's a hard no there. Look at the rise on your jeans and make sure that it goes at least like 90% of the way. Trust me on this one. Ann Taylor Petite, size two. I would have picked this up. This is just a classic pencil skirt, but it's a brocade. Brocade. Brocade, and it's got some shimmer to it. So holidays, I'll market it as such. That's nice. I would have nice. picked that up. And it's been to the dry cleaner. I love yeah, that. Perfect. There you go. Would I have picked this up at the bins? I don't know if I would have picked it up. But I would have thought about it. <laughs> American Eagle jeans. 100% would pick them up. Don't care. I don't care what else you have to Super say. Super high rise jegging with the button fly. So, unless they're, so they have some distressing. These are a skinny jean, which is still selling for us. Okay. All right. So, what happens? I wear American Eagle jeans as well. And people know the kind that they want, and they know their size. So they will come online and find it. Now, if it was the script font, I would have thought twice about it. Size double zero regular. So show them the font. This block font that just says American Eagle, those are the newer styles. Where'd it go? There it is. I know, it's black on black, but... Yep. And it's so easy to list them because it tells you what it is. Yep. I would definitely list these and... Yeah, right there, next to, right next to it on the waistband. American Eagle is... The sell-through on eBay is incredible. It doesn't sell for a ton. We might get 20 bucks, $18, something like that. Yeah. But very quick to list, and the sell-through is great. Get off. <laughs> uh, stripey shirt from J. Crew Factory. J. Crew Factory. How you can tell it's J. Crew Factory versus regular J. Crew is those two little diamonds right underneath where it says J. Crew. 
If it has those, it is J. Crew Factory. It's a cute shirt. Yeah. Um, the only way I would list this is if I had like three more of them. And well, I would lot them, them together. Them yeah. J. Crew Factory, especially with the two dots, is not as high of a quality. They make it for the factory and they price it less. So yeah. the odds of that shirt falling apart <laughs> pretty high. What about the odds of this shirt falling apart? Mm. This is what is what does this say? Perception petite. Mm. Look I don't know. Not 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 the highest quality? No. Mm-mm. This whole, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if we're working on that one. All right, what is this? More white. Slesinger Golf uh, skirt. Is this stretchy? Uh, yeah. I heard it crunching. That wasn't that. I mean, that's just my dry fingertips. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is probably worth it's 10 to Scored, yeah. I think, again, if I had like multiples, I could sell it. Sure. I don't think it's worth it. Okay. Uh oh, I see sparkles. Yes, mama. What is this? Oh, this looks like nice. Okay. All right, okay. What do we got? I'm on board. S L N Y. Anybody know? Size 12. Okay, I'm going to show you how I know this is cheap. Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk. This dress looks nice, and I think somebody could wear it and they would buy it. The way that I know it's cheap is inside here this is a surged edge okay and then right here is another surged edge this is a serger when it has like those little tight loops and that surged edge comes together like this and that is horrific <laughs> this should be hidden by lining and this should be a blind stitch it should never be top stitched like that in any garment full of any kind of quality this feels like a tablecloth and it is made like an amazon tablecloth that's all i can tell you this should not happen so you can look for little tips like that on your clothes even if you don't know the brand to tell the brand do i think this is pretty yeah i do and we can probably sell it because you can sell low quality clothing yep however i think we should put it in the maybe pile because i really want to look it up but i don't want to waste the time to do it right now i know cool. that that's not a high quality dress but sometimes you just need a dress for a night you know what i'm saying yeah man. one timer redhead uh, kind of like a thick. I know why she got these because I gave her a bunch of LL Bean shirts. Yep, yeah, but this is a size. It's a two XL, so. Eh. I. It's a basic. Yeah, it is. I've I've looked this brand up a couple times and I've never really been impressed with mm. the return possible return, but I I didn't look up the sell through rate, so. Maybe why? I don't know. Are we ever gonna look it up? Probably not. You want to put it in the maybe? Well, I'll, put it in, I'll maybe. put it in the maybe. Put it in the maybe. Okay. What is this? Some kind of jersey? National Cheerleader Association. Uh, uh, yeah, I love that show on Netflix. I'm obsessed. Yeah, it's just a... I don't know. I have no idea. I don't either. We're going to have to look this up. It's worth a look up. I don't know. So we are going through someone else's card. Okay. More Calvin Klein. This is a size small. This is cool. Like a little zip cardigan Oh, this is like thing. you own this. I would totally listen. I think you bought this for me, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? This is Dan. Every, every hoodie he wears is just like this. I think this will sell. I do too. It it's probably came the, from TJ Maxx or something. The logo on it right there on the cat is obsessed with the heater. There you go. The one thing I don't want him to be obsessed <laughs> with is like, oh, heater. Hey, that's nice. That's warm. Uh, some khaki pants from Reaction Kenneth Cole. So Reaction is the lower end line of Kenneth Cole. Yeah, in my experience, the resale potential is not, not so great for this brand. So going in the closet. Of course. Excuse me while I move. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't list this. No. Okay. This is from a brand called Tess Women, size 2X. 
sheer black. Mm. Serge edges again. And something sheer. So. Uh, yeah. This is a serged edge. Look how terrible that looks in a sheer garment. I'm all mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know how about that. How dare you? No. <laughs> I can't. Have some pride, people. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Les Miserables. Oh, Wait, man. this is awesome. This is pretty sweet. This looks like gunny socks. I don't think it is, but it looks like it. I don't think there's any tags. There's none in the in the neck area. Wait, yes. Here we go. In the armpit. Neiman Marcus. This is awesome. By, what is it? Jean Quill. Something, yeah. By Diane Samadi. Samandi. I'm Size definitely going to yeah, the Neiman Marcus tag is a pretty good indicator that it has it has potential. Uh, if anybody knows this tag or this brand, this is like such a know. prairie there it is. style. This also has serge edges on a sheer garment. <laughs> <laughs> but. But it's cool. It is. It is cool. That's definitely going into the list pile. I don't know what it's going to be listed for. This is going to be a research. Okay, what is this? Iman. Wait, I see this brand sometimes. I have seen this brand. I've rem I think I've looked up a piece or two. and. It's got these big, these are called Whopper Poppers. These Whopper big, Poppers. <laughs> these big snaps, they're expensive. <laughs> so the fact that it has them might be okay. This I might mean, be okay. It feels like it's... Okay. It's fully wise. lined. See, yeah. look, there's no surging here. This is blind stitched together. <laughs> it's nice. This might be okay. It is, what are we got? 70 polyester, rayon, and spandex. Okay, whatever. Looks like it might be from around 2015. It's Size. just a long line open jacket, or you can snap it. I think we should try to list this. Size I think we should. Extra small. Oh, the pockets are still shown shut. This oh. is an indicator of quality as well. Okay. So the factory sews the pocket shut so it doesn't get damaged during transit. Mm -hmm. And um, some jackets, you keep the pockets sewn shut because you don't want them to pucker if you have a little junk in your trunk like I do. Uh, it's, I always keep my pockets sewn shut on the side. They're, those are called slash pockets. Let me pockets. see if this will come through with the light. Yeah. I think we should try it. This is extra small. I'm about to try it on. It's it? extra small. You want mm -hmm. <laughs> Make another pile, the try-on pile? I will say, I don't know what the resale rate is, but this feels nice. Yeah. I'm going to say that on the record. On the record. All right, that's two bags down. It's so fun to look at stuff that we don't know about because we know so many brands after four years. It's interesting to be like, oh, what about this? What about that? What is, this is a plastic jacket. That is plastic. <laughs> Super plastic. It reminds me of that garbage video. I'm only happy when it rains. Um, oh, it's floral. It's apostrophe. Apostrophe. Oh, this is European. Is it? Mm hmm This is what the tag looks like, if anybody has ever seen that. We have something similar in America called apostrophe, but it, this is different. This is on another level. This is Spanish. Okay. From Spain. Right. I think. It's got these big tortoise buttons on it. Size, says, size tag says EG. Extra grande. Four for four, maybe? <laughs> four for four. Four for four. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, no idea. It's what like a rain. I think we should look it up. Okay. Like maybe pile? Or? Maybe pile. The fact that it's Spanish is. Yeah. Okay. Could be good. We got an open knit something situation here from Chelsea and Theodore. Extra, extra large. I get this brand and Chelsea and Violet confused. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I think this could be good. I think it'll be okay. Here's the things that it has going for it. Uh -huh. It has a curved hem, and oh, okay. and the sides are up so you can wear it as a tunic, like with leggings. That's a good link. Right. Uh, open knit, as we know from Selling Eileen Fisher, is pretty popular right now. We saw yep. a lot of open knit. There's no snags that I see. Not yet. Not until I get a hold of it or Jeremy does. Right. I think we should... Try it. I think we should try it. It's made of 40% cotton 
and 40, oh, 60 cotton, 40 acrylic. Banana Republic shirt with a hole in it. Oh no, total blowout. I wouldn't pick up regular dress shirts. Mall brand, excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, come hey. on, are you coming? Come on. This video is brought to you by Foster Cats. Yes. Anyway, he's probably going to jump up here in a second. Michelle, Michelle, this looks very 80s. 80s. Designing women. Oh, oh, he's up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> oh, my God. You get down. You get down right now. <laughs> get away our cats have no manners they're not ours they're foster cats we're trying to teach them look at oh no he's <laughs> laying down here <laughs> get away i'm dead if he gets cat hair on these clothes <laughs> cats are not allowed allowed near our clothes except for this instance because they're so loud outside anyway here's your michelle michelle top geometric shapes i want to look it up I think it's cool. It's yeah. like art to wear. I think it's neat. There you go. It's probably terrible. All right, I'm shutting the door. They're both out, right? Yeah, but as soon as you shut the door, they'll start yelling. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I also need to make my coffee. Uh, some American Eagle shorts. Ooh. Are they swim shorts? Uh, do not believe they are swim shorts. No. Coffee out of frame. Right. Tag's been kind of sharpied over. Oh no. <laughs> so these are like on sale at the outlet or something? Something. Probably not, huh? Are they swim trunks? No, they're they like sound really thin like it. And crunchy. No. <laughs> we have a threshold, y'all. I know they probably sell, but. Oh wow, this is. Oh, this is amazing. Nice. <gasps> oh my. This is not getting listed. This is mine. <laughs> this is my size. I know it. Oh my god. Okay, black dress from anybody know? No. All right, let me tell you about this dress. No Hold this dress up. Hold this dress up. Okay. You, want, you want some detail? Some okay, clothes? first of all, Wednesday Adams is trending, and hello. If this doesn't fit me, we can definitely list it. It's got these, this pleated fabric, these lace insets, that's what we would call these. They're sheer, so you need to wear like a underdress underneath of it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Unless you're trying to, unless you're trying to have that kind of a party. Right. Uh, this is like a broomstick style, which is normally seen in skirts. It gets really, really wide at the yeah. bottom here. Like I said, if you have junk in your trunk, this is such a flattering style. Mm -hmm. It's nice. got bell sleeves that are lace. This is just everything in a dress right now. This is so on trend. I cannot believe she found this. Super sweet. It's a it's that whimsy goth. That's the term that's really trending right now, and this is that. You and you will have to pry it out of my cold dead. <laughs> it actually will probably be too long, but I'll try it on. You can get that hemmed. It's all right. If no, you can't. No. 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 Uh, this is fantastic with even without a brand. I can sell this with keywords, and no problem. Yeah. Good job, April. Nice work. All right. Well, uh, White House black market. T-shirt dress. T-shirt dress. I don't think I would sell this. Okay. Unless I had a bunch of them. I love selling lots. Like, if we had, like, three different variations on that, that'd be cool. All right. I like a fit. This is a fit and flare dress. When okay. it fits right here, and then it has this full skirt. Fit and flare. Exposed zipper on the back. What is this, like, ass? Oh, it's Massimo. <laughs> this is Target. Target. Um... Kind of watercolor floral. So yeah, it's yeah. the script Mossimo. If, if if nobody if somebody doesn't know, that's what that is. Mossimo. Mossimo. Now you know. I wouldn't sell that one. Okay. Floral okay. black something. What's happening? These pajama pants. What's happening? It's a Norton McNaughton. Anybody, anybody notice? Yes, this is from the 80s. 80s. I think this is 80s. What is this? A skirt, size though? small. It's a, what, a skirt? Yeah, I think it's a maxi skirt. Yep. This might be okay. I don't know. It's not my wheelhouse. It's very thin. Very thin. 
but it's pretty. Yeah. Maybe she has fun? good taste. Like uh, April's picking up like I don't know, not ugly things, right? Right. right? I mean, our bins. There's a plenty of ugly things. She's picking up basics and things that are pretty. So I like that. So this is American Eagle longboard shorts. Hundred percent sell these, right? Probably, yeah. I would sell these. I feel like they've been starched a little bit, a little bit of an orange spot right there, but. What I have a right? bit of an orange spot. Dudes don't care. Maybe? Dude don't care. Hashtag no, dude don't that? care. No, there's like paint on these. Oh, is that what that is? Dude these might care. Like some of these painting shorts. Oh, these might be good. Oh, no. These are thrashed. 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 Completely thrashed. These might be good. This is a pair of Nike Tiger Woods golf pants. Oh, April! And this size 3430. Hopefully they're not thrashed. The Tiger Woods stuff does really well for us. Good job, April. Yeah, man. Good I've find. I've seen these, but that is a great find. Good find. Not all Tiger Nike Woods. golf does well. The Tiger Woods stuff is still moving. It's moving. Moving. I'm going to start another pile here. There you go. Oh, we got pink shorts. It. Pink shorts from Vineyard Vines. All day long. Boom. For the... Bro, in your life. 100% I would buy these. <laughs> I would list them. I will sell them. Yes. We'll probably sell overnight. Should we just take them to the guys next door? I know. <laughs> Didn't we just buy a pair of these, actually? I think I did at another thrift. <laughs> Stay tuned for that haul. Yes. Uh, this is from Land's End. It's a size extra large. What is this? Just a stretchy, like a workout? Something? It's like a tennis skirt. Tennis skirt. Skort. It's got legs. Oh, it's... Hidden <laughs> legs. <laughs> new legs. He's got new legs. I try that. Okay. Easy enough to list, right? Yeah, why not, right? Oh, what are these? That's this a, is the 90s looking. It's probably a repo pro. <laughs> Ragged? Yeah, mm. I don't know, but this Glam is. Glam works? That tag looks kind of. This might be from the 90s. Um, it looks from the 90s, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Why does that tag remind me of um, Trip NYC and its sister brand? All right. Okay. Okay. Hold on. What is it called? You thinking this is a it's hot called topic? called Ragged. Ragged? It's Colombian. Huh. Glam works. Glam <laughs> works. Is there two G's in Ragged? Yes. Otherwise, it would be rage. I know, I keep trying. <laughs> rage! Rage! <laughs> okay, there's nothing. Nothing! If it was Ragged Priest. Oh, man. <laughs> so, is this going in the no? Yeah. Okay. Khaki shorts from Tommy Hilfiger, size 34. I'd listen. Kind of crunchy. Still? Yeah, I'd listen. All right. $15. I don't know why the dudes do not care. That's they just, so true. Just buy these shorts. We just list every pair of shorts and they buy them. Uh, me a me. So that's small. That's cute. It's very cute. It's it's um embroidered. That's good. I think this is a really cheap brand. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I see it. Like, yeah, it's huge mm -hmm. and stuff. Okay. I think we should try to list it though. It's a little Johnny Wuzzy. It is a little Johnny Wuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try it. What is oh, this? Is a twofer. Uh oh. We got another blue skirt. Oh, this is pretty with the scalloped edge. This is from Talbot's in a size eight. Hundred percent, I'll list this. Talbot's gets a bad rat, but we do sell it. And look at the scalloped edge. Look how pretty that is. That is nice. Yeah. That is nice. Okay, is this a Talbot's? Can we can we double up? Can we double up? Uh oh, what is this? This is Eddie Bauer, size four petite. Eddie Bauer is sold at Penny's. I can't remember. I can't either. Um, I don't think I'm gonna. List it's this. the script. I think this is. A, uh, I don't know if there's a newer tag or not. But. No, I don't think we're gonna list this. It's a it's a dated print. Um, okay. Nah. Mm. I say no. Fun to fun, size 3X. Super cheap, but it's not ugly. Oh God, these surge edges kill me. <laughs> it's 
This is too small to be a 3X. I'm sorry, but this can't be. Something happened there? Something shrunk. <laughs> so rayon, if you don't know it, will shrink crazy amounts. That, that is shrunk. So once you start, re- uh, what do we do? Reselling? And <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, an- uh, you know, four years, you start to know if things are the right size just by looking at it. And you're yeah. like, no, that's shrunk. 41 Hawthorne? This is Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix. I used to work there. Highly don't recommend it. Uh, this is cute though. Yeah. This is a pencil skirt and it's stretchy, so it's kind of like that bandage. Size look. medium. Here's the tag for anybody that wants it. The good thing about Stitch Fix, not that any of it moves, I don't know, but people, this skirt will have been in a hundred different fabrics. And if they have one that they like and they want the leopard version, they know where to go find it on eBay. So I will list that. We'll see how it does. All right. Look at this wow. guy. Wow. Look at these bows. Okay. Le suit. Oh, le suit. Le suit. Size le 14. Le suit is always coming after me. So le suit obviously is a suiting brand, and this probably had a skirt that went with it that we don't have. Um, it is a, a brocade fabric. Mm-hmm. It's floral. Without the skirt, though, I, I maybe pile. I, I, yeah, maybe. I don't know. All right. I, I wouldn't have picked it up. Whoa. Banana Republic factory, right? With yeah. the three three diamonds. Yep. Same as same rule as J Crew. If it has those three little diamonds there, that is Banana Republic factory. Uh, I'm gonna assume no. No, I would list this. You would. Okay. New Year's party? Yep. And it's got <laughs> the gold shimmer. And you guys, it's got the best thing of all time. Pockets. Pockets. It's got pockets. All of us women are looking for skirts with pockets. Well, not just women. Anybody wears skirts. You want pockets. Yeah, you do. All right. This is Talbot's Petite. Older tag, right? With the, yeah. The circle or oval tag right there. Mm-hmm. I would not sell this. A couple of reasons. Okay. It's got wash wear. It's yes. very faded. That's it is the wash kind wear. Of faded. This has given out the elastic in this. Do you see how it's all like? Sad. <laughs> there you go. It, this is Dunzoed. Dunzoed. That is a technical term. All right. A couple more in pack number three. Lane Bryant. I think this is a newer tag. The block letters. We have sold this shirt. We sold it in green or yellow. Yep. So we're going to sell this one too. We're going to sell it. There you go. That's what the newer tag looks like. It's got some smocking on it. Okay. What is this? Adidas Youth Soccer something. Soccer's hot. Yeah, I don't know if this is for a specific oh. thing or not. Region 3 U.S. Youth Soccer. Oh, it's like a, an event or something? Possibly. Possibly. Mm, so no. I probably wouldn't have. Yeah. Nope. Okay. What is this? This is Loft Petites. 100% will sell this. There you go. In fact, I might even wear it. It's got this Aztec situation going on, and that's still pretty popular. It does have this dated coral color, but this color is coming back in a rust form. Oh, my God. Is this the last one? Ah! Is yes. this the last one? Because we are, like, out of room. Right here. Well, we can start. Yeah, you're going to here, shuffle that. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh. Shuffle that stuff down. This is the maybe's. We'll this is my crap room, and now it's been transformed into the bins room. <laughs> There we go. Okay. This looks like a pajama top. Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a newer Polo Ralph Lauren tag. It's a pajama top? I wonder if there's pants. Um, or is this a robe? It's a robe. No belt, though? Probably no belt. But there's no belt loops. Really? Are you sure? I don't see any belt loops. Oh, there is. Yeah. That's, un- that's, that's just upsetting. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Always look for the belt. So small. If you guys learn nothing, always look for the belt. Always look for the it's belt. It's normally there. Somewhere. Okay. It's really hard to sell a robe without a belt. And Taylor. Ask me how I know. Size two. What is the cut of these? Where do I find that? Normally it'll say... Oh, these are older. Yeah. Oh, there's a tag right here. Oh, 
It's hard to read. The other tags have been cut away. No idea. These are just career pants. Yep. Um, they they don't have. They're a low rise, which is not great for me, but they they are flare legged. Yeah. These might be okay. They have been hemmed professionally, but they have been hemmed. Let's uh, try. Maybe put them in the baby pile. Baby pile. The flare leg got me. <laughs> the flare is in. Okay. Sorry. Plusus collection. What? Two S's. Plusus. Wait, this is pretty. This is like prairie style, okay? Come on down with that embroidery. Little house on the prairie. <laughs> is this nightwear or daywear? I don't know, is that size seven XL? Is that what that says? Yeah, but it's not like like that. It must right. be like a Chinese seven XL or something. Yeah, because it's not There's a, no way. No. Um I don't know what to say about this. I don't either. Maybe? It's a maybe. I mean, it has some things going for it, right? That, like, prairie style is very in still. I don't know why, but it is, surprisingly. Well, this is red cap. This is workwear. This is a, a size 6, extra large. Um, this might be good. So, like a work vest. It's like kind of like Carhartt. Kind of. I think we should look it up. It's well, I'll look it up right now. It's called red, red cap. Red cap with a K. One word or two? Two. Oh, Ted Cap. <laughs> um, red Cap, workwear, looks like it's uh, probably 30 bucks. Yeah, okay. But that, eh, only one sold. Mm. Only one of a lot listed. Okay. Oh wait, no, two sold. It's two, I'm wrong, and one's over 30. No, no, it's good, it's 30. It's decent. It's because I put in Ted Cap. Oh. Definitely I think not. it's worth 20 to $30. Cool, okay. So, look at this little, rate's actually pretty look good. Look at this little baby thing. Ooh. Oh, I love this. <laughs> definitely selling this. I don't sell a ton of kids clothes, but when it looks like that, I definitely sell it. Oh, the buttons say fashion. Okay. okay then. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. What is this? This is from Alfred Dunner. Oh, Alfred Dunner. Oh, Alfred. All right. There's some things actually going for this. This like ditzy knit, this crochet open knit at the top here on the mm -hmm. collar is actually pretty popular right now. And this color, this rust color is actually also popular. Size 3X. I think we're going to try it. We're going to try the Dunner. We're going to do it. I think we should. I would not pick up the pants. Like of that trend of the pants. I think this is another one. Another dunner? Another dunner. Yep, petite small. But that's actually that's pretty. Yeah. I think. The details are really nice on these pieces. True. The little scalloped edges. Let's try it. I'll give it the good six months. Alright. If it doesn't move in six months, then we'll we'll, we'll have another talk come back at you in the video this is what sold because in Vindu I can put the label so we can keep track of it this is gorge this is a gorgeous 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 this is a this is a nightgown but you could wear this as a dress these days um not today zero tags yeah I would still list this as a slip dress maxi length adjustable straps will measure the chest 100% that will sell okay Good what job, is this? April. Linen, Linen pants? pants. <laughs> Both of us. Linen pants. Perry Ellis. I'll sell them. Linen cotton blend pants. Oh. 38, 32. I won't done? sell these. They're densered. Holes. So, well, no, just like, okay. let me show you guys what pilling is. Because yeah. like, new resellers often don't know what pilling. This is pilling. And you need to look on linen pants right here in the crotch. Because that's where it happens. And once you can't sweater shave it down in linen once it gets this thin. Or it will make a hole. Yeah. These maybe could be worn by someone that buys them at the Goodwill, like, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> they got one more one more wear left in them. But I know where her head was at. So yes. these are the things that new resellers don't look for. They don't know to look for them. But she knew that linen was good. Yep. And it is good. Linen, for the most part, will <laughs> sell regardless of bread. For the most part. Loft, <clears throat> extra, extra, small, petite. Oh, this is mine. This is How'd yours. you know? I would totally wear this. Yeah, you would. Mm. 
Look at this little knit tank top. Um, I've heard like a hundred resellers say that this is a really bad size, which is my size, and I find that the extra extra small petite stuff does fairly well because people can actually buy stuff that fits them, and then when they come in our eBay store, they'll bundle it mm -hmm. because we have a lot of it. Most of it's my old clothes. <laughs> what is this? Drag hanger tag and tailor size fourteen. Pinstripe pencil skirt. So the rule on pinstripes. Men's and women's. Tell them the rule on pinstripes. Um, it's for matching pieces. It's for two-piece sets. It's hard to... Hard to sell just a one-piece of it. You can. We've sold many a square coat. Not yep. many, but like a few. But it, it takes a while. It's a hard sell. Yep. If you find something pinstripe... <laughs> Sorry about the skew. Yeah, what just happened? <laughs> I don't know. I must have... There we go. If you find something pinstripe at the bins, try to find the other piece. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Moving right along. What is this silver shimmery thing? Shimmer. White House Black Market. Extra small. Party tank. Party tank. <laughs> All right. This has some. This has some good things. I think we should try to sell it. I okay. think it would photograph well. It has a. Key, this is a, called a keyhole. Okay. Detail. Mm-hmm. Oh. And this is um, whimsy goth. That's how I'm going to market it. It's all about how you market it. Yes. How you White House Black market it. <laughs> Man. Softball. <laughs> uh, Ann Taylor day. Petite, extra small petite. Oh, cute. Sure. This does not feel like Ann Taylor. This feels like... Anyway, this is a jersey knit, so when it feels like a t-shirt and it's real stretchy, mm -hmm. it's normally a jersey. Okay. This is a great travel dress because it doesn't get wrinkly. Yes. I think it's trying to look like Tori Burch or something. I know! <laughs> I'm down with it. Let's do it. All right. We'll see if it sells. We'll put that on a dress form. It will look much better. New with tags, DR2 by Daniel Rain. This is a Stitch Fix brand as well. Not exclusively. They sell this at Nordstrom Rack. Which is where this tag is from. Yep. There you go. So she was good. She picked up new tags. Always worth a look up. Oh. This is Cold Shoulder, which is a little bit out, but some people still rocking it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's how that goes. Oh. No. What, schmutz? Schmutz. Even on new tags, you got to check. Look at that schmutz. Oh, man. Get it out of here. can't. What do you do? Because that's really not going to be worth anything when you take tags off. Uh, white pants. White linen pants. White linen pants from Neiman Marcus. Oh, these okay. could be good. They could be good. Size medium, just Neiman Marcus house brand, which is... Which still sells for us. It sure does. Sure does. Because there is nothing cheap about Neiman Marcus. These are cool. These might do well. Are they men's or women's? Uh, good question. I think they're men's. Yeah. yeah, they're men's. These are really thin, but men don't care. Dude don't care. Yeah. These are like golfing pants. Yep. Yachting pants? Yacht, yes, yachting you pants. You definitely go on your yacht in this ish right here. We're going to list sure. these. Hello. Nice. Wear these to the white hey, lotus. Hey, we're, we're on this side. The white lotus! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is pretty. Imara? Extra, extra large? Anybody know this brand? Help us out in the comments. This looks like a shibori dye. I don't think it actually is. I think it's a print. Okay. Uh, this is it's a... Got these integrated ties here. Right. This is an Indian style. So this is like a kurta or something that could be worn over pants. Um, but many people wear this kind of style like on vacation at the White Lotus. Yeah. Oh, Davis. <laughs> um, but it is Indian styled. And I don't know whether it's authentic Indian. I don't know the brand. But it's definitely made to look like that. So pretty yes no maybe well, let's look it up that maybe. is a maybe that's a maybe that's a maybe majestic bomber jacket majestic can be good i've heard is this mlb it's just uh oh, no. it's got a baseball thermo base um as I'm, I'm not sure what this logo is from i may have to google lens it to try to find out or if anybody knows wait this is real nice san antonio maybe I mean, who could be a could be any number of things. Yeah. San Angelo. 
Could be. I'll just make stuff up. Okay. I don't know. It feels nice. Yeah, this is a maybe worth a look at for sure. Okay. <laughs> the maybe pile is growing. starting to climb up the wall there a little bit. Coldwater Creek, Petite 14. The creek. We're back to the creek. <laughs> Just khaki. Spot. There's a spot on me. So. so the interesting thing is that the camera picks up spots that your eye can't see. Yeah, where? Right. No, this leg. Sorry, I'm backwards. Right here. Can you see this? No. It's just oh. fuzz. It's just fuzz. It's just fuzz. These actually Cast feel kind of brand new, to be honest. <laughs> Don't they? Yeah. Do we list cold weather pink pants? I don't know. Should we? I don't Let know. Let us know below. Should we list these pants? Maybe they feel, five. They, yeah, maybe five. They feel nice. Okay. We have a love-hate with cold water creek. Simply Vera from Vera Wang. I know where I was at. Yes, I do too. So Vera Wang can be very good. Simply Vera Wang is the offshoot line that is sold at Kohl's. Oh, it's at Kohl's. Okay. It's Kohl's. Um, these, you know, you know Kohl's. I used to work there too. Do we just want to talk about all the places I used to work? And um, this has some nice beading on it though. Wow, that's intense. Whoa. I don't like to look at that. I don't like, no, I don't like to. Yeah, <laughs> I am with that kind of like. Uh, um, so on clearance at Kohl's stuff can go down to like five dollars okay so it's probably not worth losing um, a t-shirt no okay what are these cargo pants yeah no. but this these look like US military or something I can't wear cargo pockets no on. what is this made in, no it says made in China large regular there's no brand, no brand tag. Unbranded cargo pants? Yeah, I would say no on these. I would probably say no on those too. Like uh, some kind of uniform pants. They do, definitely are a uniform more. pant. I would give you that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is this? Time and true. This is Target, right? Extra, extra large. But some is it, it's pretty. Yeah. I think we should try it. Decent style, right? Yeah, this is so on trend right now. Let's try it. Okay. A lot of the stuff is summer, oh, obviously, because like the bin cycles through. But we should try. You never know. Neiman Marcus, silk and tensile. Okay. Okay. We can get down with that. Yeah, what is it? Uh, pants. pants. Wow, yeah. these feel great. Yeah, these, these are nice. amazing. Neiman Marcus exclusive. Oh, wow. So yeah, like I said, the house brand media market stuff is is usually Travis pretty good. Needs. Can I show you guys the a really nice surged edge inside of a pant? Look how much better this looks. See how clean that is? There's nothing on the edge there. And there's this clean blind stitch that makes this really, really nice and crisp. That's a really high quality garment right here. And then the end of it, do you see how they cap it off inside the hem? That's how it should be. The other one was just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are nice. That's that's. that's I bet great, you those are great. great. Find. Yeah, right. those are gonna be great. Okay. It's great, Ann Taylor. I'm guessing. Banana Republic ah. Factory, Sloan Fit kind of pink pants okay i'm gonna list these you know why because people i used to wear the sloan fit to work as a high school teacher another job <laughs> and uh i knew what size i wore okay i might want a pink pair well there you go i'm gonna list them list them because they have the name if they didn't have the name i probably wouldn't i'm just being honest you know it looks like pugsley i know right well it's got buttons on the shoulder but another banana republic factory i love this sweater dresses are trending right now this is a sweater dress it's so nautical, it's and buttons. it has buttons on the sleeves. Yeah. I will list this all day. Okay. For okay. yachting. Okay. Oh, also for yachting, yes. I'm going to put that in the themes. Yacht. Yacht rock. Ah. Okay. This looks like, this feels like pajama pants. It's like Soma. Simply Vera Wang, plus size 3X. Oh, this is. There's a matching top to this. 
Oh, in here? Yes. Then I will list it. Yep. Uh, plus size pajamas do great for us. We just found this out. Yeah. If you had asked us maybe two weeks ago, we'd been like, nah. No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You just never know. You never know. You can't just be so judgy. I'm hopeful that we'll learn some lessons here. Where'd it go? I know for sure I saw it. That's weird. There it is. Perfect. Oh, it's new with Hey! That's so it says, okay, it says, Simply Vera Wang, Kohl's, 3X, uh, and it has the style name, 60 bucks. Okay. But All like right. Kohl's, it was probably like 25. 25, right. <laughs> Okay, we got a westbound woman size 2X long sleeve t-shirt. All right, I don't know where they sell westbound, but here's what we can do. We had a bunch of like 2X t-shirts in different brands, didn't we? If we can like try to lot them up and be like plus size t-shirt lot, we yeah. can probably get like 20 bucks out of it. I mean, yeah. It's just not worth someone paying shipping for a t-shirt, right? That's not a name brand or whatever. But I think maybe we could lot them up. We could. Let's try to get all the money out of us. What is this? This is like a flannel shirt dress. Only necessities. 5X. Oh my gosh, these are so trendy right now. This is like... I think this is ugly, but it is trending. Like, if you go to Target, you'll see these. Come on. Come on. There it goes. Look, and it has the buttons all the way down. Girl, we list in this. Oh, Yay. yeah? Are we? Yeah, it's really trendy. Okay. I don't know. This little house in the prairie thing won't leave. <laughs> <laughs> it won't leave. Get away! You get away! You haven't seen all those memes about the Target dresses? No. <laughs> they, look, they look just like that. Okay, new with tags. Good Alf job, April. This is Alfani again. Macy's, I think. Macy's, yeah. I it mean, is, new with tags is probably decent. It's yeah. got some sparkle. It does, what yeah. Was it? We'll list that for sure. What size is it? Large. Okay. Oh, speaking of sparkles, we got more sparkles. She's on a roll. What this says. This is a 90s dress. I can see it. Perfectly dressed. This, this is a little baby this dress. This like a little kid dress. I do not think we will list this because nope. kids don't care about 90s trends. <laughs> I don't think. Super fuzzy sweater. Oh, uh, this is Chenille. Jones, New York. Signature. 100% will list this. This is trending. Size medium. Yeah, this is super nice. So show them what a chenille fabric is. It's like this. It's like really thick, very soft, um, but not... Hi. Hey! So... Girl, it's... we are back. We're, we're back. It's the next day. Our house exploded. It exploded again. Filming explodes. Yeah, it was fun. Right in the middle of our hall. Explodes. <laughs> <laughs> I have since crawled under the house. Yep. Fixed the water pipe. Well, kind of fixed. We had to call in professional help. Uh, our pipes exploded. If you don't know, in Dallas, it's 10 degrees all night, all mm -hmm. day, and all night, and all day today. And yep. we have a 100 year old house. And the pipes burst again. Mm -hmm. This is the second time it's happened to us. It won't happen again. Don't you worry. No, nope, we are taking steps. <laughs> <laughs> so there was three more items left in the haul that we were doing from April's bins extravaganza. Yep. I said no to all of them yep. today when I was cleaning. So we accepted 55 items to list and try out. 55 items that we're not sure about, to be honest. Yeah. I would say almost all of them we wouldn't have picked up. Maybe three or four we would have. Yeah, I'd say that. So that's good. Yeah. And then 55 items we we're sending straight back to the Goodwill. Get them out of here! For condition reasons <clears throat> or because they were basic and we couldn't get more than $10 for them. Yeah. So stay tuned. That's we pretty have good though. Get 50%? You know? For a first timer? I'd say that's pretty good. I think it's great. Uh, that means she had 110 things in her cart, which is a lot. Yeah. But we're not going to lose money on this. I mean, it's the bins. It was $1.29 a pound. We're going to be okay. Yeah, we're going to be just fine. And I think if one or two of themselves will get our money back, and that'll be great. We have a bunch of hauls coming at you this holiday. Y'all, I'm dead over this. Dead over it. Somebody said happy Hulnica. Oh, it was great. So good. So good. I love, I love the puns. 
So we're going to sit here. <coughs> it's nighttime. We leave in the morning on a jet plane. But we're going to sit here and film some hauls for you in our house with no water. <laughs> we're going to do it. The Thanks cats have not changed. No, 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 They're no. still here trying to get into the room. Yeah. I know you love them. Yeah. All right, so we will see you this week with way more hauls. We got a bins haul, mm -hmm. which won't have comps because we don't comp in the bins, and right. you guys tell us how we did. We've got a, a mega thrift haul. Yeah, really good one. Good with, one. With, with the comps. With the comps and Bolo brands, yep. and then a special, Ooh. a holiday special. Ooh. LA thrift haul. Travel edition. That is fancy town. It is. And there's some super bolo brands in the <laughs> LA haul that we cannot find in Dallas. Well, normally don't find in Dallas. Yep. So you definitely want to subscribe and stay tuned to see that. If you've made it this far, yes. please give this video a thumbs up and yes. leave your favorite holiday emoji below. Man, that's a great idea. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging out and we'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye. Bye.